Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, as mentioned earlier, looking good for this evening, just dry and seasonably chilly, but problems ahead for the weekend, a wide variety of precipitation, but in the end, it'll end up being mostly a rain situation, but we'll start with some ice and snow. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Again, locally, we're doing fine. You're heading out. Some activities for this evening, uh, not looking at uh, any problems, but here's the breakdown on the storm for this weekend. Snow and sleet arriving by around 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Initially, it's cold enough for snow. Some minor accumulations inland. I don't think this is a snow plow, snow blower kind of a thing, but there'll be some small accumulations and some icing before we see a change over to plain rain later Saturday evening and Saturday night. So whatever is on the ground and it won't be much will actually wash away. So very mild on Sundays, a real roller coaster ride with the temperatures. In fact, unseasonably warm for Sunday, and that'll feature actually rain and wind uh, most of the day. But a winter weather advisory for northern areas starting uh, tomorrow afternoon at four o'clock through early on Sunday morning. I don't think we'll be seeing frozen precipitation by 10 a.m. Sunday. A lot of this will change to plain rain around uh, the midnight hour, but it will take much longer if you have any travel plans towards the Mass Pike on Sunday morning. And a high wind advisory for Sunday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., primarily from about Newport out towards Cape Cod. May see winds gusting here 35 to uh, 45 miles per hour on Sunday. A little thin layer of ice on the uh, lake over at Echo Lake in Pasco now with a temperature at 32. Some sunshine today and skies are still clear this evening. Temperatures now in most areas in the low to mid 30s, including 32 Gloucester and here in Providence at 36 degrees. And again, most spots in the uh, low to mid 30 category heading down into the 20s during the overnight hours. Some snow squalls in northern New England today. Not a concern for us this evening, but again, watching this moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico, bottom of your TV set right in here. As this advances to the north and east, initially it bumps into cold air that's in place. We get a little bit of frozen precipitation before the change to plain rain. Start off at 7 o'clock this evening, just clear, cold and dry, no problems. Even tomorrow morning, a little bit of sunshine in the 20s. Then notice the clouds take over during the afternoon. It's not until around 4 or 5 o'clock we'll start to see the precipitation working in snow, sleet, and some freezing rain, but mainly rain along the south shore to be a rapid changeover and a change to all rain later tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and that'll spill over into Sunday as well. How much snow before the changeover? Providence north and west, about a coating to an inch and amounts are a little higher to get towards the Mass Pike and north of Worcester. Futurecast for tomorrow morning is a dry start tomorrow afternoon around 4 or 5 o'clock. That mixed precipitation starting to work in. Futurecast, the threat tracker low tonight in the moderate category for tomorrow as far as travel plans, giving it the green light both morning and noontime. But by around this time tomorrow evening, a little easy on the gas pedal. Untreated surfaces will start to get a little on the slippery side. Seven-day Futurecast, it is actually warm on Sunday and windy upper 50s with rain. We're cooling off on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, some light snow, then maybe some small accumulations Tuesday night and get ready for some of the coldest air of the season by Wednesday and Thursday. Daytime highs may not hit 20 degrees. Welcome to 2015. Wow. We'll be ready for it. All right, All right more coverage.